Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Out of your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <clears throat> oh no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! <laughs> Mr. Livingstone? Hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat, Tom, is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat. Not a twin, that's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him! Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all! How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If I let take Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus Sam for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen them or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and all of stock! Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! Oh, oh boy, oh boy! I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is, you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's OK, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. 
And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys know the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa! But this is incredible! Who are you? You could be my twin brother! Look, we've got the same paws! <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears! <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home! Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, Come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. The resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that Arlette was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief! Let's celebrate! Here's a treat for all of you! Not you, Tom! You could choke or have an allergic reaction! Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. This won't last for long. Thank you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations, your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom, time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. Oh, mine. Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. <laughs> hey, Sam! Come and join us! It's so comfy! No, <laughs> no deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's me. Right, I'm Sam. Look at my droopy Sam walk. Oh, I know. You cut your whiskers. <laughs> Phew. Come on, you've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Me. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop that! <sighs> Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar! If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat! Oh no! Tom took Sam's place! Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did that! We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him... Yes! We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah, d -d 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 don't. Sam, if you don't give us back what you owe us, we're going to... I know what we're going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? Yeah, I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. Here. 
I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. You found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move! I'll go. <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> yeah. Tom Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. A... <laughs> a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! Help! Where? Help! Yeah. Help! Leave my master alone! <laughs> 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 You saved me from that big bad wolf. All that time I thought I was protecting you, when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> We're back together. We're back together. What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together. We're back together. We're back together. <laughs> Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's totally in the rules. Don't tell me I don't know how to play soccer. Goal! No go! No go! No go! No go! <laughs> you were lucky, that's all. Bring the ball back here and I'll show you who's the star. I don't know why I should go fetch it. You're the one who kicked. But, Eugenie, you touched the ball last, so you have to go fetch it. There's nothing to be done about it. It's the rule. Okay, if it's the rule. <laughs> hey, that's a foul! Nonsense! That was no foul! It's not my fault if you don't like the rules. You see, Eugenie, town games are like that, okay? It's not like in the forest where you can do whatever you like. Well, sometimes I wish I was back in the forest. She's been to the forest? She's the one. She's our supreme guide. Sweetie Pies, it's dinner time. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the forest for dinner? Come on, it doesn't matter. It's only a game. God, that wretched dog. As soon as the Supreme Guide returns, we'll move into action. Those wretched dogs. 
Those servile lackeys at the human's beck and call, how dare they abuse yourself? You, our supreme guide! Huh? She's already in the kitchen! She's gonna eat all the kibble! <laughs> oh no! Eugenie hasn't eaten a thing! Huh? What are you talking about? What do you mean, Supreme Guy? It means that you are the one who shall lead us to... Eugenie! What are you doing here? Who are they? We are the PRLF! The Pet Rabbit Liberation Front. Our mission is to free all rabbits captured by humans and guarded by their wretched hounds. <laughs> but of course, let's go. These guys are completely crazy. No, they're actually very nice and I want to stay with them. Anyway, we're going nowhere without her. Okay, how about we settle this with a carrot tossing contest? If I win, you go, and Eugenie stays with us. If I lose, Eugenie goes with you if she feels like it, okay? Okay. I'm going to show you what real carrot tossing is about. Watch and learn. Whoa! With carrot tossing like that, Eugenie won't be going anywhere. Thanks, Wash. Up we go, comrades! But hey, but that's cheating! You're not allowed yes, to- Yes, you are! I know carrot tossing rules all by heart! So, where are we going? To a wondrous, beautiful place. We'll explain later. Not in front of that dumb dog. See you soon, guys! Hey, but Eugenie, you, you can't just abandon your big brother like that! Leave it, Sam. If Eugenie prefers to go off with cheats... You're the one who couldn't stop cheating yesterday, Wash! And you deserve to be abandoned all on your own! No! Mm -hmm. I'm coming along! I want to join your Pure Relief thing with you! You should join the LLRI instead. The link for lousy rabbit impersonators. <laughs> <laughs> Can we come with you? Pigeons aren't pets. Come on, that's enough. Let's go. Hang on, they're my best friends. Show a bit of respect. Hmm. All right, they may come with us. The most important thing is the happiness of our supreme you. guide. So where are we going? To the forest, the land of freedom. Huh? The forest? But the forest isn't the land of freedom. It's the worst place on earth. It's very dangerous. There are terrifying predators everywhere. There is no worse predator than human beings who live in towns. The forest is our salvation. There's no way I'm going to the forest. You are our supreme guide, the only one here who has been to the forest. I beg you, please take us there. Without you, we can never make our dream come true. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Here. We mustn't hang around here for long. We might bump into Mitch. He's right. If he sees us, the gruesome grizzly will never let us go back to town. <gasps> Thank you, Eugenie. Thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Could you take us somewhere with a bit more light, please? It's a bit dark around here. Mm -hmm. Here, is this okay? Awesome. Comrades, at last we are free. <laughs> oh, this little trip has given me an appetite. When do we get to eat? Uh, see, in the wild, you have to go foraging for food yourself. Thank you dearly, Eugenie, for taking care of it. But you've got to learn to get by without me. We've already voted. You're taking care of dinner. What's all that stuff? Why aren't there carrots on the menu? Because carrots don't grow in the forest. Anyway, it's your problem. We're going home. Never! You are our supreme guide. You are staying with us. If 
you go. We'll come after you. We know where you live. Get it? The PRLF never gives up. So, go find us some carrots and get a move on. <gasps> Don't hang around here. Go back to the Living Stones. It's all my fault. I should have never gone along with them. But you were to know. And I'll never abandon you. A chicken canary never deserts her friend. Me neither. But maybe I might just head back to the Living Stones at some point to fetch some... Shut up! I've been trailing you, Eugenie. Zip off your costume and show the PRLF you're not a rabbit. When they discover that you're not their supreme guide, they'll let you go. Wash, you're amazing. But that's no reason to start cheating again when we get back to the Living Stones. Mm. Look, I'm not a real rabbit. I cannot be your supreme guide. Ah, that weird creature has devoured our supreme guide. The lousy rabbit impersonator was right. The forest is full of evil predators. Run away! Not before we retrieve the hide of our supreme guide. Rally round, PRLF! Nice to see you, pals. Thanks, Susie, and thank you, friends. You are awesome. Match your service, Bab. At the PVLF, we stick together. See you soon. Okay, feel like getting back to the Living Stones? There's a soccer match on TV. We can check out the rules. Well, I never. What an incredible punch. Christopher has just floored his opponent. See? No foul. You can tell I'm not cheating. Cheating. We're watching a boxing match, not a soccer match. You think Gustav, Angelica, and Guinevere got away? Don't worry, little sis. At this time of day, I'm sure they're tucked up nice and warm at home with their masters. You'll see. The four of us are gonna have a ball. I'll take very special care of you. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Chop, chop, hurry on up, it's the Neighborhood swap -arama. Drop on by, shop and swap, exchange and change. This swap shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Wash. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're gonna tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow, there's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. Uh, huh? Look over there. Those specks are something else. Wow! They look like laser specks, like in the dog from outer space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specks in the Royal Chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken! Cool.
cool. If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens. Let's go. I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Uh, uh, uh. What have you got to give me in exchange? Oh, uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs or roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs. It's obvious. Phooey. They're laser specs, Sam. Want to bet? We can't just let it drop. We've got to find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, Eugenie. I have an idea. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Eugenie! Uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when their pet is sick? <sighs> I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? Uh, 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 uh. Me first. There are no roast chickens in the yard. Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs. Now give them here. Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality. Incredible! Did you see, Sam? Hmm. Yeah? Did I see what? Uh-oh. Vitamin deficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! <laughs> Anybody want some? So, tell me, who is right? It was me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, no. It's a catastrophe! What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them please. <laughs> Vladimir, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. hmm, not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. No, oh, no! I can't go back to the forest while I should do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. <laughs> ah, ah, Mr. Vet! look a bit pale, don't you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Ah! Whoa! Do you realize, honey buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. Yeehaw! <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief. <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specs. Why can't we keep them for us? But Sam, those specs do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses. Sam, eat. I want my specs. <laughs> They're my specs. I saw them first. Huh? Ah! Wild animal! Run for cover! Supervillains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You 
you can't say anything with these specs. Yeah. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie. Look at the pretty buds I found for you. Watch out! The blue cat is a wild yeah. boar! The dog is a fox! The rabbit's a wild boar, too! And the canary! Well, she isn't a canary at all! Ha ha! Very funny, Alfie! <laughs> the youth of today! They have such wild imagination! Huh? But, 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 why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie! Stop trying to show off! <laughs> Wild animals, now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had us sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. Your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm. I'd better go test them out indoors instead. I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's gonna see us, Wash! He's gonna see us! Not if we're faster than he is! <laughs> Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! Phew! It's you, Vic! Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. You're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop supervision from seeing us and grab the super specs from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little super villains. I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Ow! But this... I've got him! Uh? Ow! Ready, Sam? Farewell, those chickens. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Who turned out all the lights? Great trap, supervillains! <laughs> Nobody is faster than Su- That's enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume! Oh, no! I'm sorry, sweetie pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! <laughs> Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around... <laughs> well said, Sam. Mm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, 
his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. And next time, vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the Living Stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no. Why do he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. Duh. I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the Living Stones a surprise? No, yeah. Yeah! You'll see! It'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes! I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh! If your plan was to surprise the Living Stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh no, no, no! Not our costumes! No! So that wasn't the plan then? Wow! I dig the new costumes! Groovy! I want one too! And me! No, they're not groovy at all. Quick, we have to wash our costumes straight away. <laughs> Lucky the Living Stones have gone out for the day. Yeah. We're back already. Oh, those spots. What are they? Honey, come quickly. I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease. Ah, you're hideous. Quick, let's get the defense. Ah. <laughs> How troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Ugh. We've got to get them out of there and fast! Come on, let's try the window! I don't want to go back to the forest! In the rain? In the cold? No kibble? No TV? No roast chicken! Oh, Sam! Give me a hand here. Yeah! <laughs> Not even a small bar of soap. Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Let it be. Ah. You can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. Hmm. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? Phew. I'm gonna lock this door, Vladimir. I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Wash? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. Yeah, we're here. Oh, oh 
dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welba won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. How does it work? <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. They have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> Put on a pair of gloves. <sighs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Well done, Vladimir. Uh, Don't move. I'll go see who it is. Vladimir! Uh? Hiya, buddies. What? How on earth Here did you... Here we go. Mission accomplished. Your day is coming at last, Vladimir. Acute inflamed boobinitis is back and you've got a cage full of specimens. Fame and glory will be yours. All yours. Gl glory. Oh, well, ma. Come on. We're organizing a press conference within the hour and we're going to show the world and its greatest specialists what this extremely dangerous virus is about. An extremely dangerous virus? I'm too young for this. I still have so much to live for. So many acorns to eat in. Okay, let's calm down, all right? Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've got to get out of here and fast. <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage is a lock like mine. All you have to do is push it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so did that put me in a special cage? But if you'll lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm? I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Hmm? <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat. Meow, meow. And I hate dogs. Uh, everything okay there, buddy? I got this right. He's a dog who's a cat who doesn't like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! That dog's going crazy! I'm not a dog and I'm not crazy! Yeah! What's going on, Velma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah! They're going to contaminate us! Vladimir, your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir. Be a man and show some guts. You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. <laughs> easy now, easy. You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a... Sam, don't give away our secret. A uh, cat. Hey, I'm actually a cat, too. Meow. Meow. Yeah, so are we. Meow. Meow. Have you all gone completely crazy? Huh? 
Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined. Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now. We're real cats. <gasps> yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tails. A dog? I hate dogs! Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. <laughs> What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Yeah! yeah. Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So? So? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez. Your tattoo is totally awesome. What? A tattoo? Now that is classy. A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Oh, it's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Yeah, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure. I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. <laughs> super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for. Uh, there. Furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about... Tattoos! Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa! These ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! Meow! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly what we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. <laughs> you have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow! Did you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm hmm I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> 
Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Whoa! Yeah, yeah you guys are awesome! Whoa, you guys are heavyweights. Oh, yeah, you look amazing with those. <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah? More like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on. We're going to go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria. Oh. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on. You've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now all you need is some long hair going down your neck, and you'll be perfect. Hmm. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez? How super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec, you mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? Mm -hmm. And now, this month's Top 10 Tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got to- Hey there, guys! <laughs> it really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we won eight more than we can pick up right now! <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. Hey, stop everything now! Tattoos, they're for life! Uh, it's the guy on the TV who said so! In full teenage rebellion, John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life! Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? It's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's gonna be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pound. <laughs> Perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. <laughs> Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes, and then we'll be goners! Hmm. 
gun is a fake. What a bummer. Where can we find a real laser now? <laughs> real aliens? Incredible! Hey, guys! Huh? Hey, wait! What are you doing around here? It's fake too? Wow! It works! Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, the vet will see your pets now. You can wait here. It won't take long. Wow! If I go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash? What is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. <laughs> That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle has flown away! No doubt about it. Some of the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. Thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam. But you better thank the aliens. Thank you, you too, too, alien, alien friends. friends. Honey! Oh. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website, and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper. Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. Jesus served. Sam? <laughs> get it, Sam, get it! that mouse. Do you think he's sick? <laughs> It'll be fine, darling. Everything's okay. Breathe deep. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Sam, what was that about? You're supposed to be a cat. And cats are supposed to chase mice. They love doing that. Chase mice? Are you crazy? They run way too fast. All cats chase mice, I'm telling you! If you don't, the Living Stones might start wondering about that and realize that you're not a real cat! Are you sure? Yes, and if they found that out, you know what would happen. We'd be forced to return to the forest, condemned to endless wandering in cold and darkness. <sighs> 
Jazz for acting like a cat, Sam's far from winning the Academy Award. But for the worst melodramatic lead, you've got a good chance, Washington. Cool it, Vic. You couldn't understand. Nothing to panic about. I just have to revise our cohabitation contract with Biscuit. Biscuit? Biscuit, the mouse. He leaves the living stones alone, and in exchange, I give him a hefty piece of cheese every year, according to delivery. You do? Why don't you just pounce on him and chase him off and all that? Why should I? The living stones provide us with delicious kibble three times a day. <laughs> okay, should we do the usual? This year, Swiss cheese or Parmesan? Both. Both? Are you kidding? It's complicated enough finding one single piece of quality cheese. You want two? Hmm. I think you have a big problem on your paws in any case. <laughs> what do you mean, big? A cat who prefers cheese to mice? Bizarre, no? Mm, not in the least. I myself am tempted at times by a bit of blue cheese or cheddar. That's right. At times. The only explanation I can come up with is that creature is not a real cat. <laughs> this guy here, not a cat? Ridiculous. Sam is definitely a cat. Oh, and quite some cat, too. Right, Sam? You're a cat, aren't you? Meow. Meow right now. <laughs> Meow? <laughs> like I said, Perhaps someone ought to open the Living Stone's eyes to this problem. <laughs> What's that? Let's just say if I happen to be in the right place at the right time, I could show them that their darling little cat doesn't behave like a real cat at all. <laughs> they might end up understanding. You wouldn't dare. I've already disposed of bigger dudes than this. How do you mean big? <laughs> Let's not get all worked up about this. Surely we can find some common ground on the subject. Anyway, one piece of cheese, two pieces of cheese. <laughs> what difference does it make? Cats do not make deals with mice. The matter is closed. If you want me, you won't find me. We can't just wait around and do nothing. Biscuit has threatened to reveal our secret without warning. We have no choice. We must teach Sam to chase mice. Yay, why me? Because you're the cat! And we'll have the same problem every time a mouse sneaks into this house. <laughs> Susie, you be the mouse. Run and don't stop until Sam catches you. Here we go! <laughs> what are you doing? Since we're about to be evicted, I'm taking advantage of the TV one last time. A hunter among hunters. The leopard can remain hidden for a very long time. A very, very long time. Sam, you are a genius! Okay, running isn't your strength, but waiting around without doing anything at all, that is your specialty. And? And so we just have to use the leopard method. Wait in ambush for Biscuit. Maybe we should just give Biscuit what he wants. <laughs> like cheese? And where do we find loads of cheese? Don't know! In the garbage! Listen carefully, Sam. There are three rules. Reactivity, reactivity, and most of all, whatever happens, reactivity. Mm, can you repeat the second one? <laughs> as soon as Biscuit appears, you grab him and toss him in the bag. Simplicity, efficiency, reactivity. I get it. Things are going to reactivity. Yeah. Grab Biscuit, put him in your bag. Reactivity. Grab Biscuit, reactivity. Hi, dude. How are things? <laughs> Not bad, thanks. Just kind of hungry. Otherwise, great. Hey, I was just about to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Want me to bring you one? That is so cool! Thank you! <laughs> gotcha! I had my doubts, but this is so obvious. You are not a cat! Yay! Yay! Not so fast, rat face! Hurry, Sam! You gotta catch him! Reactivity! <laughs> Reactivity! Have you seen thing already? Reactivity! Wash! He's on the sofa! <laughs> I can smell cheese. I know it. Yippee! Yeah! I'm afraid think I'm going 
gonna stay quiet and count myself lucky with stale Swiss cheese for the rest of my years. They don't know who they're up against. Better now? Do you feel calmer? No, I do not. I will when those two so-called cats get rid of that disgusting rodent. <laughs> yeah? Oh, no! Hurry, Sam! Now's the time to be more cat-like than all the cats in the world put together. <laughs> Can't be happening. <laughs> what is wrong with this cat? Can't even catch a mouse? Where's Victoria? <laughs> it's just a matter of time before the Living Stones realize that you're not a real cat. Fancy a piece of cheese? <laughs> I'm begging you, Vic. Help us. Cats do not make deals with mice. If you don't help us, we're done for. You've got to teach Sam how to chase mice. Sam is at a breaking point, Vic. That mouse threatens to reveal his true identity at any moment. That guy can't sleep. Just look at him. He's a zombie. Well, the zombie sure has an appetite. <laughs> what Sam needs to catch Biscuit, I mean, apart from endurance, style, and technique, is a motive. What do you mean? What motive? If you can come up with a very good reason for him to go after that stupid mouse, he will. <laughs> a motive. Motivation. Get it? Aha! I'm not so sure this is a good idea, darling. I'm not gonna sit around and do nothing until our cats decide to take action. Look what I found, Sam! Your favorite cookies! Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna give you one. I wonder if you really, really want one. <laughs> well, in that case, I could give you the whole packet. Oh, yes, oh, yes! But only if you manage to catch Biscuit. Then you can eat all of these cookies. <laughs> Boy, Sam! Gone for good? Nice work, Mr. Cat. We did it! We found some cheese! We're saved! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm thinking. I sure am. 
Huh? What? Where? Huh? What's going on? The police? Aliens? The end of the world? This is your lucky day. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. Don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and three we jump. One, two, Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah! Hmm? Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Uh -huh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal! <gasps> and your zipper is metal! Like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine! <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for! Yeah, you reckon? I know we are! We have no place here! So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've got to watch TV! We have to stop him digging! <laughs> yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up! No! Right, here we go! Here's pretty good, isn't it? Here. 
Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, Mr. Cat! If only our zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro? Okay, right, don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think! You sure? I'm thinking, you're thinking, Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch, bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? Oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're going to hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh? It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Mm. <laughs> ah! <sighs> wow, it's even prettier close up. It's beautiful, so shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Bush? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. Uh, what? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ah. Uh -oh. ah. that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no. Yeah. Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> huh? This way, Sam! Quick! It's okay, Sam. Ha! Yeah. There they are, my pretty little treasure thieves. Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and... A cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm. Mm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This 
was my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever find. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Yeah. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hmm. <laughs> Can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> Like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez jelly face dominoes. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Sam, go on. Tell us what His Majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink. Do you ever think to wash your mouth odor is my bitten fur? Okay. I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst, you can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished catnap to complete. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Ah! What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! As you hear, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. <laughs> no, what are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? No, uh, 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 Elmo. <laughs> Satisfied now? A cut! A horrific! 
Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Duh, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. No! No! I don't... I don't believe it! It isn't me! Sure it is! It is you! It's all because of the curse of Victoria! She transformed you into a cat! <laughs> but that is ridiculous! Yeah, well if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again! Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! Yay! My costume! Where's it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. <gasps> what happened to your legendary sense of humor? Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Oh, no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez! Alvarez? Yes. I've got to talk to Victoria! It's urgent! Ah! Oh, huh? That wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat. And I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> <laughs> Vic! You stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird, he must know how to put an end to this curse. Contaminates us. We'll start barking too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, Animal Pal. Cooper is just a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have the choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes. <laughs> Definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. All of that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. 
I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> -la 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 -la! <laughs> so, they're the lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. What I wouldn't give to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way! Flash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Hope in your eyes. Your clone is upon us. Ah! <laughs> is that me? I, I don't believe it. It's me, but I, me too, and we're both of us here. Ew. Awesome! <laughs> it's my costume. Oh, with this suit, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog. Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Jeannie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dive. Mm -hmm. While chasing this car. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the Stop! Don't change channels! Food. Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey, how about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm going to need your help. Yeah. <sighs> Nobody's interested in my game. You, GD. You're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, wanna play in our documentary? Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk-on parts. <sighs> Everybody in position! And action! <laughs> Out of the way! You're hogging the mm -hmm. shot! So what? Cut! That's great! 
Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can. Do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy. Is it? <laughs> wow! Eugenie, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours! Hey! You're not going to take your costume off, are you? Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? Uh, hear that, honey? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey. He's still a wild animal. No, look. He's totally harmless. You see, how about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. <laughs> so, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm going to take it off, too. Ah, no, don't! Why not? Huh? I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie? We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I shall redeem the good name of wild boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. Yeah. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! Wash! I've looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're gonna make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying disc to get buddy-buddy. <laughs> Right, we'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and... okay, I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! Ooh. <laughs> Shoot, what was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Catch! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Woe is me! Vic? You okay, Vic? Vic, talk to me, Vic! Oh, Who do you think you are, Acorn Brain? Don't try to get 
chummy with me. But I thought that... I was acting, you pea brain. Pure cinema. But if that's the way it is, do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the little fox? Little fox? Little fox! Oh, there you are. You'll be famous. It's going to be amazing. A documentary about wild boars. All you have to do is pretend to... You. Yeah? Our little fox's first breakfast. How sweet. I know. How cute would it be to adopt him a little friend? Yeah. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! Oh, no! Oh, no. Ah. Hello, animal pal? <laughs> Sam, why did you do that? I wanted to get taken in and tamed like you. I want to be able to live the real me, too. You'll have all the time in the world to do that at the pound. They just arrived. Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. Okay, but what about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> 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 You can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh, no! Our poor little fox! And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash? Washington! Wash! Yeah! Don't sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting them out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. You have the suits? Huh? Yeah. On, start now, will you? <laughs> Oh, you see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound. Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't stop channels! Be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pet. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just ask it! No! No! <laughs>Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on, hut hut, everybody out. 
Boy, how annoying. Just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Smelt? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm going to obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch! Gotcha, Sam! Well, you were saying, Washington? No! I wasn't ready! Let's start over. <laughs> Washington, over here! Maybe we should move in closer. It's a bit difficult for him, no? Yeah, too right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there. And besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. The house is the other way! <laughs> Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> a dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip. I'm guided straight there. No ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same. Unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> My dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> At lunch, we'll have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way, we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! <laughs> At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. <clears throat> Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. Uh -oh. What am I going to do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. Uh, okay. How? Huh? Just look for a cable and pull on it. <laughs> Have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PVS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 808, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. From the top of this hill, 
it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win! One, uh, two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven 999, 1,000! Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts. hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh -huh. Just what I thought. It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect. Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I get an idea. The rappers. Direction will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hm? Uh oh, there's something wrong. What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy. Sam! Yeah. Ah. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh, no, Wash, what have you done? We're right back where we started. Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it. A dog could never beat my GPS. Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right. You don't my understand what went wrong. Maybe GPS. a big, greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Wash? It's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. This is one TV binge we definitely deserved. 
I will admit that just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think it's dinner time. In 800 yards, turn left. 